we're gonna break down one of the most historic throws in the history of women's discus in the United States, and we're gonna start right now. So unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you know that Lagi Tasaga is the first American female discus world champion. She did so in crazy, crazy fashion in a very interesting position in the final, you know, has a throw out like 54 meters, 53 meters, goes out and pops off and then makes that top eight. And then in the final really starts to get on this crazy roll, big, huge foul. And then round five, the fireworks start, right? And so, if you've been in the realm of professional throwing, you've seen since 2019 uh, what loggy has been capable of doing. You've, you've seen what she did coming out of Iowa, and so you've known for a while what she's able to do. And I think that everybody's sort of been just chilling, waiting because of how explosive, how strong, and how great of a person she is. And now, leading into this past year at US National Championships, you could see it just happening very, very slowly. You could see it just, she was getting better and better and better every single round. And then she had a huge 65 meter throw in the last round uh, at US Nationals for a big PR. And I think that just sparked a lot of people like, huh, there might be a lot more behind Loggy and her performances than we actually realize. I think going into the world championships throws you saw that you could see what we had posted the day of the final uh, was Loggy because we thought maybe she, she could pop off. Maybe she could do something pretty, pretty substantial. At least we posted that on Instagram. So that takes us to that day, the historic day. And so Loggy goes in and she's sitting in sixth place with that 65-56 uh, that she had hit in the third round had a big foul in round four, and then this is what happens in round five. Accurate scorecard until then. But what about this woman, Tisaga? That was a huge one in the fourth, yeah! but it was a foul, and she stays inside the circle this time. Huge, huge, huge. <laughs> I think this is where we should be inserting the, the one of the coolest interviews I saw uh, with any athlete was Loggy afterwards said, you know, when she saw where it landed, she said she knew she stole somebody's medal. She knew she took someone's medal. She didn't know what color it was, but she knew she had someone's medal and now it was hers. I get in that back and I said, all right, it's time to go. I go go time. Floomp. I'm like, oh, wow. And then I said, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. No. He was like, did you think you was going to win? I knew I took somebody's medal. <laughs> I knew I took somebody's medal. Yeah, yeah. 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 So let's watch this technique. Let's break it down. What does she do? 69 meters. Four meters, four meters. So think about that high school kids. You gotta realize like she can go out and she can do this. She can go out and pop off on a round five. And the other crazy part here is that you're giving a minimal amount of time to respond to this big throw. Like that's another big factor that people don't really think about is like she hits this huge mark, right? You only get one or two throws to come back. So you've got to, if, if you're an opponent, like all these other greats, Perkovich, one of the greatest ever, if not the greatest ever, Allman, one of the greatest ever, if not the greatest ever, right? Bin Fang won the previous year. All of these individuals only have one or two throws to respond to this monster bomb. So let's check out what the technique is. I want to say a couple different things. Usually Loggy starts with that wine. Actually, as I'm looking at the round two, she threw 52 meters. She comes back in round three and goes 65, 56. And so some of the big factors as well is like, even when you're down in a competition, the biggest lessons you can learn from this, you're down, right? You can still go out and have a big throw. You can still go out and do that and achieve what your dreams are by coming back, regrouping, and having confidence. You throw that 65, Loggy throws 65. Then she has this huge foul in round four. What does she do? I got this, I've got it. She knew she had that huge foul in round four. Other competitors knew that as well. And so she gets into the ring, sets this up here. And so let's check that out. And I want to compare this to Daniel Stahl because we did an analysis with Daniel. Loggy's got 
very, very similar stability on that wine. Very, very balanced, very level. Um, that right foot here, nice flat footed controls, not falling back into the circle uh, with that right hip, but just stable, just stable. And I think that's some really important stability is a very important thing that we've got to think about, especially for discus. And even in the shot is as you're coming out of that position out of the back, you've got to be stable because that leads to better balance. Okay. So as you lead to better balance, it leads to better rate of force development, right? So now what happens as she comes out of the back here? So her pickup is right about here. Okay. So right about here, she starts to pick up. Um, that right leg starting to push. You can see it's a little flexed here. So she's starting to push around um, as she comes out of the back. You can start to see here. She's getting over that left leg. Okay. Over that left leg here. She's got that sweep position here with the right foot. So now she's lined up. Where is she going to get to here? She's got that right foot right here. Sweeps down. Really, really good middle position here. I want to see with Lagi, she tends to have maybe a little bit of a high point right here as that right lands. Uh, and you can see here, nice control from that left shoulder. She's balanced on that right. Look at how well she's rotating on that right side. And you can see that left arm here sort of controlling that, that center point. So everything's rotating around her right side in the middle. She's got that quad flex. She's got the, the plantar flexion in the calf here. She's got that hip really, really tight controlled left side here. Now that left leg comes down. And we talked about this uh, with Daniel Stahl. We've talked about this with Valerie Allman is the mobility, you know, Van Klinken, the mobility that these top discus throwers have is that when they ground, okay, when they're in this position, there's no dropping from the hand. It's balanced all the way across. There's crazy, crazy tension and mobility. So even with that left leg here, she's catching the discus so far back relative to her left foot. So if you can catch that relative to your left foot, now you can generate a large amount of tension that's gonna lead into that monster throw. And then you can see, just watch what she's doing here uh, with that right foot. Watch what she's doing here with that balance of that left, right? Look at that position, you know, everything's rotating. Everything's rotating. Look at how long she's here, rotating that right around. Look at how long she's still on that left leg. Discus right here, okay? Discus is coming out. This is how long she's grounded. It's crazy how long she's grounded, okay? Now, where does everything transfer forward from, okay? Everything comes forward. Everything's forward. And if you go back to right there is where she's almost getting all that energy directly into where that left foot was. Now, as she comes around, a lot of people were a little sour about this. Okay, a lot of people were trying to say that when she came through here, a lot of people, meaning like one or two people, were just sort of saying like, "Hey, she felt she's not even close. She's not even close. This is her just being a ballerina coming through here, controlling this position right here, right heel stays elevated, rotates around, holds that position there. Absolutely fantastic athletic ability absolutely fantastic and so that's the big thing here with that performance freaking phenomenal technique dials it in at the right time we've seen it building since 2019 here we are now it takes time when you become that post-collegiate athlete At college you've got a pretty easy system like you're going to class you know and i know a lot of college kids will be oh class is so hard it's not as hard as post-collegiate life because post-collegiate you don't have that support system you don't have all that stuff and so loggy you've seen her just developing year after year after year just chipping away chipping away chipping away chipping away and then she just goes to the diamond league final she goes 68 meters again it makes it even more interesting what's going to happen next year with the olympics coming up and so it really makes things interesting but in 2023 Lagi Tasaga is the absolute number one women's discus thrower, the world champion in 2023 in Budapest, Hungary. If you guys need help with your training, head over to peakstrength.app. You can download our app and select throws-based training. If you guys need help with your technique, head over to throwsuniversity.com. Until next time, remember, implement this technical work so that you can drop some bombs. Peace.